All right, so today we are going to be checking out the details and animations for the upcoming Dokkan Fest Super Vegeta. And real quick, before we get into it, I just got to say, man, it feels like they did a little bit too much with him. Like, I'm all for OP characters. I definitely don't mind more love for Vegeta. And I'm fine with power creep as long as it's done somewhat gradually, right? But this just feels like a huge jump in power level, you know? Like, this Vegeta is just... He's crazy. He's absolutely insane. So, uh, we'll definitely get more into that later on in the video. But uh, on top of that, we're also going to be getting a new side unit on his banner, which is this uh, second form cell. And we're also, I wasn't expecting this, but also going to be getting a new prime battle LR, which is this uh, LR... Kid Gohan. So we'll talk about all three of them, we'll watch all three of their animations in this video. And so with all that said, let's jump right into it. So first things first, we have to check out Vegeta's animations. And I haven't seen any of these yet. Okay, I was waiting for the video for the initial reaction. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let me just turn off the music here. And of course, throw on some headphones. And oh, I'm so excited. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. How did the students get too much in the school? Okay, okay, yeah, first things first, the OST, the OST is fire, okay, absolute fire, and um, that final flash, dude, is like everything I wanted, like, I, <laughs> okay, I did forget, in my last video, I was like, yo, we're finally gonna be getting a good final flash animation, and I totally forgot we have the int uh, SSB Vegeta, so that's my bad, that's my bad, but I kind of subconsciously, I guess, meant like from Z, you know, like Super Vegeta, Final Flash, and this is, this is what I wanted, man. This is everything that I was asking for. And the Cell animations actually look really clean, too. Like, he, he's not bad at all for a side unit. Um, but Vegeta, man. <laughs> Vegeta, dude. Uh, so clean. That is so... Clean and I love the uh, the active skill too. I mean, this unit is just everything. This unit is just just the complete package. All right, uh, let's watch it one more time. I'm gonna just let it play out because we just we have to. It's just too good. So, oh man. Okay, okay. So that's that. And now let's quickly watch the animations for this uh, kid Gohan. Let's go to the beginning, and here we go. Damn, all right, not too shabby, not too shabby. So that's the new Prime Battle LR that's uh, dropping on JP soon. And clean, super, super clean. All right, 
So moving on to the actual details now, and we are going to be going onto the Dokkan Wiki, but I'm pretty sure these are translations from Goresh, so big, big shout out to Goresh as always. And uh, we're going to start here with the Super Vegeta. His leader skill is Mastered Evolution, which is a brand new category, or Pure Saiyans. Pure Saiyans, category key plus 3, HP 130%, attack and defense 170%. So this is the Pure Saiyans 170% attack lead that we've been waiting for for uh, basically forever. I mean, <laughs> it, it's, it's been something that I've wanted for a long time, and... Um, we just never got it. We got the 150% with the, you know, transforming of Vegeta, which was nice, but we never got that 170% attack lead, and this guy is it. So just from the very beginning, the leader skill is is awesome. I mean, if he was just a pure Saiyans lead alone, just forget about Mastered Evolution. If he was just pure Saiyans, he would already be one of the best leaders in the game, just because pure Saiyans is, the, is one of the best categories in the game, right? It's one of the biggest categories in the game for sure. But he also has this Mastered Evolution, which is going to be interesting to see. Right now, we don't know exactly which units they're going to put in into it. But um, dual category lead, this Pure Saiyans, though, gets me really, really excited. And then we have his Super Attack, Final Flash, causes immense damage. And get this, performs a critical hit for one turn. We've never seen this before. We, we've, we've never seen this before because... There's no condition to it, there's no limit or anything. It, basically, he gets guaranteed criticals. Vegeta gets guaranteed criticals, unless there's something wrong here, unless there's a mistake in the translation, which I don't think is the case, because Goresh doesn't really make mistakes, but it just seems almost too good to believe, you know what I mean? Like, he gets guaranteed criticals. Immense damage performs a critical hit for one turn. 100% chance to crit with every single super, guys. That's too much. That That's already too much. And then we have his passive. Attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% within the same turn after receiving an attack, and then stuns the attacked enemy when performing a super attack. So. It seems kind of basic, right? He's just getting boost after boost after boost, and then guaranteed stun, 100% chance to stun. It's going to be amazing for Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, right? So that's going to be super clutch. But um, yeah, we got this passive here. So 150% and then 150% or 50% and, uh, when performing a super attack, and then 50% more after receiving an attack. And then we have his active skill, which is... Uh, key plus 5 and attack plus 50% for one turn and it can be activated when HP is 50% or more starting from the fifth turn from start of battle or when there's an enemy whose name includes Cell, Cell Jr. excluded after the character receives attack one or more times in battle once only. So for the most part, you know, you're not going to be facing a Cell enemy so let's just say most of the time it's going to be when 50%, when HP is 50% or more from the fifth turn, which is not terrible. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible at all. And then links are Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prodigy, Saiyan Pride, Golden Warrior, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Categories are Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Vegeta's Family, Pure uh, Super Saiyans, Worthy Rivals, Android Cell slash Cell Saga, Rapid Growth, Gifted Warriors, Heavenly Events, and Mastered Evolution. So uh, for a better idea, of just how crazy this guy's gonna be, we do have some calculations here. So his additional attack and defense plus 50% boosts are calculated separately. So he gets attack and defense plus 275% when performing a super attack, and then he gets attack and defense plus 400% after receiving an attack. So he's getting guaranteed crits while on some turns, getting up to attack and defense plus 400%, while on most turns, at least getting attack and defense plus 275%. And of course, his active skill is calculated separately, so he's getting that 50% boost, right? Attack boost on his active skill, which, when calculated separately, results in an attack boost of 462.5% when performing a super attack, and attack plus 650% after receiving an attack. 
So yeah, that that that's Vegeta, guys. 650%, 400% attack and defense like that. These numbers are just off the charts, man. These these numbers are. I mean, you gotta you gotta combo that with the guaranteed crits, the amazing leader skill, guaranteed crit, uh, very reasonable, I would say, active skill condition, and. Oh my god, this Vegeta, dude. And also, really high attack stat too, man. 17,600 is very, very good for uh, a TUR. So, damn, okay. <laughs> Lots of Vegeta love, man. I I, I, I enjoy it. I, I do. I like that. Um, Vegeta deserves the love, but... Man, this is... This is a bit too much. He just does so much. He does so much. Um, so that's the Vegeta. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about him. I, I think it's pretty clear how I feel about him. And we're gonna move on to the second form cell here. Leader skill is Andrew slash Cell Saga. Key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 130%. Super attack. Greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. And then passive is defense plus 80% plus an additional attack and defense plus 180% when performing a super attack. You read that right. Yeah, additional attack and defense plus 180% when performing a super attack. Chance of performing a critical hit plus 18% and reduces damage received by 18% when there is an Android slash Cell Saga category enemy. And then high chance of stunning all enemies when there is an enemy whose name includes Android and then Android slash Cell Saga category extreme class. Uh, allies key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 40%. So he is going to be... A little bit more situation. I mean, not not exactly, because he's getting this unconditionally, and then this part, of course, is uh, if you're facing, you know, Android slash Cell Saga, or you're facing an Android uh, enemy, which uh, is not always going to be the case. But even if he doesn't have this, he should still be a very good unit with this massive boost here, as well as this amazing support for Android slash Cell Saga. So uh, yeah, the cell is quite good as well. The the cell is quite good as well, especially if you're facing Android or Android slash Cell Saga enemies, he's going to be extra good, but he's going to be really, really tanky, and uh, his damage output should be pretty good as well. Uh, his links, oh, by the way, he has big bad bosses, so of course that's going to help too. Messenger from the future, big bad bosses, attack of the clones, the wall standing tall, nightmare, brutal beatdown, and fierce battle, and categories are androids, transformation boost, time travelers, artificial life forms. Android slash Cell Saga, Target Goku, and Power Absorption. So, very, very, very good side unit for this uh, second form cell. And finally, we're going to take a look at the uh, Prime Battle LR Kid Gohan. A leader skill is Exploding Rage. Key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 130%, 12 key super, colossal damage, and lowers attack. 18 key super, mega colossal damage, and massively lowers enemy's defense. And then passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 59,000 when there is an ally whose name includes Goku, um, youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded on the team. And then plus an additional key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 59,000 when there is an ally whose name includes Goku, attacking in the same turn. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 58,000 when performing a super attack. Key plus 12 reduces damage received by 58% and performs a critical hit when performing an ultra super attack if HP is 58% or less once only. Okay, so it's always hard to tell with these flat boosts, but this seems to me like a lot of attack and defense, man. Like a lot of attack and defense. 59,000 plus 59,000 plus 58,000. That's insane. That's, that, that's a lot. Like that's a huge, huge flat boost. And it's really not that hard to get because all you need is to have a a Goku on rotation, right? Just link him up with a Goku and you'll meet all these conditions because, uh, yeah, you get that 58,000 performing a super attack. Oh, wait, so super attack, I guess they mean 12 key as opposed to 18 key. So do you not get this if you do the 18 key? That's interesting. Interesting. Okay, but either way, you can get this easily, right? Just having a Goku on the team, and they can get this easily when you just have a Goku on rotation. And um, of course, this part is a little bit conditional, right? You only get it if you're below 58% HP. Um, 
and when you're performing ultra super attack. So yeah, uh, I wish this was just for like ultra and super attacks, like all supers. But either way, he looks kind of wild for a prime battle LR. I, li I like what I see here. I like what I see here. Lynx, Innocence, All in the Family, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Infighter, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Youth, and Exploding Rage. That is, uh, that is everything you need to know about the, the Kid Gohan LR, the second form Cell, and also, of course, this ridiculous, ridiculous Super Vegeta. I just can't say enough about how how good this TUR is, man. I mean, trust me, I was excited for him before I even like checked out the animations, before I checked out his kit and everything, right? Like I knew he was gonna be really good. I knew that for a fact, but he's just the complete package. As I said, like he's got the animations, he's got a great leader skill, amazing super attack with a guaranteed crit, insane passive um good active skill like just just everything man like what else could he ask for you really can't you really can't ask for anything anything else and uh yeah this is a unit we're gonna go deep for this is a unit that we gotta we gotta break the bank for because uh he's worth it He's worth it. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That is going to be today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think about all three of these, especially the Vegeta. And uh, as always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.